Hi again, everyone. This video is an addendum to my last video, um, the guilt over you don't. Um, survivor's guilt is the guilt that you don't feel. So I have an addendum here. I just found out my deceased brother lied to my nephews and nieces and told them I broke off contact and stole their inheritance. I heard it from a reliable third party old friend. The narc was injured because my dad left me in charge of the finances to take care of himself and my mom. My covert narc mom was in my house for four years living here. She is now in assisted living. I go over there every day to check on her. My narc didn't help at all. Deceased narc was also angry because I refused to leave my then small children alone at his house. This guy's got an issue. I'm telling you, this guy ain't right in the head. I have no idea what his plans were for them. I, I probably have a good one. He was probably going to belittle and verbally abuse them. Hell no. I think there's something else might be going on with that guy, or there was. My narc also told my nephews and nieces that my dad was a raging alcoholic. Not true. My dad didn't drink at all. He didn't even have a beer in the house. He died of old age. He was 86. My brother told my kids my dad drank himself to death. Your brother's gay. Your brother's gay. Or he was gay. I mean, that's this. I'm going to have to do a video because I have been getting so many questions on this. And if I'm right, please let me know. Because after I pulled it out, after hearing on, a, on a, one of my recording videos, two words out of his mouth, I said he was gay. And I like that Florida right there. And I got the response email back like, holy shit, that's what caused this. He was showing his dick to guys on Craigslist. and the So I'm telling you, this guy was gay. I probably never could admit it. Narc brother lied to his children and told them he was leaving them $300,000 life insurance. He left them $150,000. He was mad at them. He also left the bulk of his estate to his enabler, closet homosexual friend. Oh, he is a, I, knew, I knew he was a repressed homosexual. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. My malignant ex-narc sister-in-law once tried to fix me up with, a clo with the closet homosexual friend. Now I know why. Because the guy was freaking gay. That's why. So why does a narc need to do anything for anyone? No. That's not why. Because her husband was fucking the guy behind the back and she knew it. And she was trying to get him. Oh, shit. That's not why. That does seem like something a narc would do, but that's not why she was trying to set you up with him. She was trying to set you up with him because there was something going on with her husband and him, and she knew it. That's why. I got final revenge on the narc. I saw him right, right before he passed away. He was dying. He was dying and too sick to get to get up. I gave him water. I told him I loved him unconditionally. True, I couldn't be near him, but I still loved him. I hated his behaviors, which is now going to pay, which is now going to pay for, by the way. I told him that I forgave him for everything. There was a look of horror on his face when I left him that last time. He was denied that last bit of supply. You fight with angels, Ollie. Thanks so much. <clears throat> Well, you're welcome. I'm so happy you sent me this addendum. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah, like all this hostility and shit, I knew. That's why I said in the last video there was something going on. But I, I, like, I didn't want to spout it out again, like accuse another guy of being gay, even though I haven't been wrong. Um, because it wasn't as clear, but I, I knew it. But it just wasn't. When you sent me the second one with, this is all behaviors of closeted gay men. I'm sorry. That's what it is. And he wanted your kids there. He's probably going to do something very terrible. 
because he's a sexual deviant. That's why he wouldn't let you date when you were younger. That's what it was all about. It was all about, I'm telling you, this is all, and I'm going to make a video because people have been out like, how do you know this? Well, you know what? I might as well just do it because if you're watching this one, I will tell you pretty much how I know. It's because when I, like I said, when I, well, it's a few different reasons. A, my mother, remember, Drunky the Fuck Clown was a fucking fag hag. B, my father is a closeted homosexual, which I found out he was sucking dick at Elmwood Park um, Health Club years ago. Um, not specifically he was, but the place got busted as a gay grinder. And I found that out after I busted some pervert at Macy's for jerking off in uh, juniors and he touched an eight-year-old girl as he's jerking off on this and we took him down and and the comment was like we haven't seen him since we busted Elmwood Park uh, Health Club back in the 80s and I remember shit that's when my father used to go with this really effeminate guy he used to hang out with and um, I used to drive my mother insane so I've been surrounded by it my mother's two best friends were gay guys. The one, the one guy died of AIDS. The other, the other, the other, the other one. You know, he's he's gay too. Two gay brothers. He's with a guy who has AIDS. My father's best friend ended up being gay. He died of AIDS. Okay, and then when as I'm working in Macy's, and I've discussed this before about the men's rooms. Okay, all day, every day, no matter what store you're in, closeted gay guys going into the men's rooms and hooking up. And I was one of the younger guys, and obviously I was, I was not obviously I am, but, uh, you know, even younger, younger me, I was good, I was good looking then as well. I mean, I'm not saying, whatever. They put me in a fucking pink shirt and it was my job, you know, if, and we, we had such a problem. I would, I was gay bait, basically. <laughs> And it wasn't hard to bust a man. I wouldn't be in there more than they'd be tapping their foot or coming in with their shopping bags to stand in them. And with the voice, I can, I, they all have the same sort of voice inflection and, and tone of speaking. And I'm not saying it's a feminine. What I'm saying is it's, it's a tone that I can't explain it, but I can pick up on it as soon as it comes out. And they all do it, these closeted gay guys. And I could pick up on it like that. Other than like, but when I read this and the behavior, it's all the same shit. So that's how I'm able to tell. Because I've just been inundated with it, you know, since birth. And I go in a career and then I start off. And I had, we were doing that for like two years. I mean, we must have bought... We busted hundreds and hundreds of we must we busted hundreds of them in the Paramus stores alone. Okay, because we had special permission, we had uh, special uh, rules there to do it because it was so out of fucking control. We had a binder of dick sucking busts like this, a binder full of dick sucking busts. So again, keep that in mind, like I said, when a tranny wants to go in and take a dump next to your kids, you know, in a public restroom. Public rest men's rooms are fucking sex havens. Okay? They are. That is a fact you have to anybody you talk to anybody who's worked in a mall in it that's what it is, man. That's when that's how I know. And that was your brother closeted homosexual who could never deal with it, so he just projected all his rage onto females. Onto females. Is it any wonder he ended up with a nar an emasculating narcissist? Mm -mm. Gay rage. Closeted gay rage. I'm not saying gay. Closeted gay rage. So thank you for the addendum. Uh, thank you for the contribution on the last video. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. And again, if you want your story read on this channel, 
you have a narcissist you'd like to expose or a topic you'd like me to cover, you know what to do with the PayPal and my email links in the description box. I'll have the video right back to you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.